this is a look at the High Wild digital camera trap which arrives well presented in this retail box which also includes an audio cable, a webbing strap to wrap it around a tree or a post, a USB cable to connect to the computer and there's also this mount here which enables you to use the tripod fixing on the base to fix the camera to a wall, a ceiling, a fence, anything at all. And now let's look at the camera. It's very well made from plastic throughout. It's got clips to one side, then hinged to the other and it opens out to reveal the colour monitor here, the menu buttons, a micro SD card slot, USB connection port and the off test and on settings. To this side is the battery compartment. It will hold two sets of four batteries. It only needs four sets to operate but by having eight batteries in it gives it a very long running time. You can leave the camera unattended for two to three months and it still has battery power remaining. The other advantage of this particular design is when you come to change the batteries you can change just one set of four at a time which means that as you're not removing the other power source all the settings will be retained in the camera so you don't need to reset the time, the date and all your filming and photographing preferences every time you change the batteries which you do unfortunately on some cameras. Setup is very easy, put it into the test mode And then you can go through all the menu options to choose your particular preferences in the settings. The mode can be either photo or video or photo and video. You can adjust the photo resolution, video resolution up to full HD, video length. You can record from just a few seconds to a few minutes. Audio recording can be on or off. There are options for time-lapse photography. There are also these side motion sensors, which is actually a very good design because what it means is when the camera is placed on a post or a tree, as an animal approaches from the side, for example, it's picked up in these sensors here, so the camera is then primed, ready to take a photograph or start recording. That's a very good benefit on these. But if you find that grass, for example, or an overhanging branch is triggering it and setting it off, you can switch off the side motion sensors. Also sensitivity motion sensors. and the usual time and date settings. You can have the time and date on or off the photos and there's also this password protection feature which means you can set the camera so that it's effectively useless should anyone steal it. Another useful setting here is the lock facility. You can run a small padlock through this so that nobody can tamper with the camera. Another benefit, now we're talking about tampering and unauthorised use, is it has black LEDs here. So when this is hung against a tree at night, anyone walking towards the camera won't actually see it. Whereas the other cameras you get, some have red LEDs. So as you walk towards them, the camera says, hey, look, I'm here, come and steal me. So you don't have that problem with this camera. We have several of these cameras in use, both in our garden at home and also on our meadow where we've been filming some wildlife and I'd like to include some of the wildlife and the footage that I've shot there to give a demonstration of how well this camera works. It's a really good model which I would highly recommend and having tested about 10 different designs so far it's this camera which we have several of and is the one which we would buy more of in the future. So having tried and tested them all, this is our preferred design and model, which I can recommend with every confidence. It's a very good, reliable camera, which produces good still footage and video as well.